How do you feed a growing global population in a world facing a shortage of farmland and water and rising energy costs? Next month, Philip Soundweber, Chief Executive of Sundrop Farms, will formally open a high-tech greenhouse facility in the Australian outback, which he believes is part of the solution. Food production is stressed not only by kind of finite uh, resources that go into the, 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 the agricultural system, uh, but also stressed by weather, uh, by population, changing dietary demands. It has to become more sustainable, um, and, uh, and Sundrop Farms plays a, plays a small part in that. Sundrop Farms greenhouses, which grow vine-ripened tomatoes, are powered by a solar power plant. The plant generates electricity, which is also used to desalinate seawater to irrigate the crops. Uh, what we do differently uh, compared to other greenhouse operations is we rely primarily on renewable inputs, um, so we spend a little bit more upfront on, on capital expenditures um, to make sure that our operating expenses uh, on, on the fossil and water and fuel side uh, come down as much as possible. Sundrop Farms has raised 200 million Australian dollars funding from private equity group KKR and Commonwealth Bank, among others, to realise its dream. Coles, one of Australia's biggest supermarket operators, has agreed a 10-year deal for its tomatoes. So these are large truss tomatoes that are grown uh, specifically for Coles in partnership with, with Coles. So we have a 20 hectare site. It has four five hectare greenhouses with around about 175,000 plants in each. So we have three quarters of a million plants, just over, uh, across the entire site, producing uh, 12 months of the year. Some experts have cast doubt on the ability of greenhouse projects to produce food cheaply enough to solve the food security problems in the third world. But Mr Simpkins says the technology has a bright future. We need to maximise the amount of fruit that we produce on smaller spaces and this is exactly the model of a, of a high-tech greenhouse. Um, the other side to that is obviously the energy streams. Um, it, fresh water is becoming a, an increasing issue. Um, obviously there's an abundance of, of seawater out there and via the desalination process that we're using, it's, it's another way that we're extremely environmentally friendly, um, very technology driven and again fixing one of those large problems uh, on the planet right now, which is the availability of fresh water. So we're looking to expand uh, out here in Australia. Um, this is uh, our home market, uh, and we see ample opportunity both here in Australia and to export uh, to, to Asian markets. We have farms uh, in, in Portugal, uh, in Europe, and also in the United States, uh, and those are kind of our three focal markets for now. As Sundrop Farms moves to full production, the company is confident it can turn a profit. It also hopes to play a role in solving one of the world's biggest challenges, how to feed its growing population in a sustainable way. Jamie Smith, Financial Times, Port Augusta.